Hey yo, it's uh, Yog Voyage again. This time we're gonna take a look at my new hut. So, um, I used to live in a pretty normal hotel room thing, but now I have this uh, bungalow, which I'm happy about. Just thought to show you around. So yeah, we have like a little hut village here and it's being constructed all the time, even as we are filming. Bhagawan wants to have 100, uh, 100 people or the capacity for 100 people. So, so uh, we're building fast and um, also building new spaces for doing yoga. Uh, so it's exciting time to be here. So yeah, I have a nice porch in here. Sit around. And this is the hut itself. It isn't too big. It's nice to have a mosquito net. Although there haven't been that many mosquitoes in here. This is maybe the most interesting part, the toilet. So it's a nice open, open toilet. So the air is circulating and I can see the trees in the morning. And take a shower listening to the leaves and it's nice mm. anyway in the hut it's nice that uh, the air is flowing freely so I really found that I enjoy it a lot also the simple look of it and natural materials and surfaces which is nice mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to settle here for the rest of the video. see my new pants a friend or actually many people just left uh, it's the change of the month so a lot of people are here for one month for a yoga teacher training a um, few people for three months and yet fewer people for uh, six months plus so uh, we have different different schedules here uh, also in uh, Always in the change of the month, there's a change in people. Uh, a lot of us left. Uh, and uh, a good friend of mine, David, left me these shorts and a few shirts and stuff. Uh, and maybe most importantly, he left his guitar. Uh, he just got the guitar when he got here, a cheap one. Uh, but uh, he left it here, so... I can practice a bit, practice playing, which is nice in many ways. One of them being, uh, there's no internet here in the huts, uh, which is a blessing and a curse. Uh, it's great because uh, I don't have such easy access to distractions in the evening time when I'm tired, uh, which I have enjoyed a lot. The negative side is that it's uh, more difficult to connect to people. I like to talk to my father once in a while. I was in Chile, 10 hour difference, it's not always easy. And uh, my mother in Finland, 5 hours, my friends in Finland. So um, no, 
now I just gotta take some time and take my uh, cell phone up where we have Wi-Fi, talk to them in there. I've been thinking about uh, getting a mobile internet. It's pretty cheap here, but uh, I just want to take uh, take the time in the last month and be without uh, distractions and deepen into the practice, deepen uh, to myself, access all those uh, emotions, and uh, yeah, really, really take the time now that I have this chance being here. Focus on the practice, focus on myself, maybe do some writing here, do some meditation, spend time in like a, a low, <laughs> how would you say, low intensity manner, relaxing here, yeah, playing the guitar, maybe, maybe doing some singing too, I've been singing once in a while, it's nice to also notice uh, the resonance gets better and also the vocal cords seem to get more lively. I've had some neck issues which I guess uh, are blocking my voice a little bit, especially the high voice. Uh, and it's been getting better. I, I hope to heal the rest of my body in my last month. It has been really good so far, but uh, still having some stuff in the neck, uh, something in in the back, especially on the left, in the height of the diaphragm, and then uh, something inside the pelvis. Uh, I think the spine, spine uh, below the SI joint, or or around it, uh, it's somehow not in place, so the pelvis is a bit unbalanced. Uh, but it's all, all, all of that has uh, gotten better, a lot better in my time here. I've enjoyed it in many ways, in uh, ease of being and uh, also sensitivity or like the li liveliness of the body. Mm. So that's been really good. Uh, I, I hope to get things even better here. And. Um, yeah, I guess it's always been on my list, but also to do the practice softer, to find ease into it, and in a way not meddle with it too much. It's easy to get into this mindset that, okay, I do this, this little corrections here and there and uh, whatnot, but uh, I've been learning through the practice and recently in my life anyway uh, that sometimes you find find the answers by letting go that uh, instead of looking at the body in the ways you know it or I know it uh, and the places that I think are the cause of the problem and trying to fix them in the sort of uh, fixed mindset in the in the way that I think the body works. Mm. Instead of doing that, just sort of relaxing more into it and giving the body and the mind space to find the more creative solutions and also to have uh, an open perspective on things. Like uh, sometimes, for example, the neck might feel tight over here and I think that's the joint that's problematic somehow out of place but in the end it might be another uh, misbalance perhaps underneath or above and actually the joint that's sore is doing its best and it's on the limit of its range of motion but uh, it's just that the position it's in uh, is compensating for something else so in those ways like I you can easily get locked into like thinking oh I know this is the problem and this is the type of thing I need to do with it uh, but sometimes the solution is like really easy but totally you're totally unaware about it 
like you don't realize you're tensing something or you have some imbalance in some other place and you're not even feeling it before you really give a lot of space for yourself to find it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, people have been leaving, a lot of new people are coming, a lot of people from Finland, a group from the Shakta Yoga School is coming for a retreat here for two weeks. I think they are eight or ten or something. So yeah, a lot of Finns coming here, taking over Thailand, escaping the winter, doing yoga, relaxing. So yeah, a lot of Finnish people coming. Uh, a lot of other people too. I think we are going to be quite full on February. Maybe some 50 people or so remains to be seen. Just a few people have arrived so far. I think uh, three or four. So, yeah. People coming, people going. Me still trying to fall into the practice. Letting go, relax, keep healing, keep growing, learning about myself. And uh, enjoying my time here. Yeah. yeah. I wish you all well, wherever you are. Thanks for watching.